Hello people, this is self Tuts and in this video we will learn that how we can install Redis using Docker Compose. So Redis is an in-memory database which is used for caching purpose and it is very widely used in large scale applications. So let's learn how we can install Redis using Docker Compose. If you go by the traditional method of installation, then that can create issues related to your operating system. So Docker plays an important role where it's operating system agnostic and you can install anything, whatever you want. So before installing the Redis on Docker, we, we need some prerequisites to be fulfilled. So first thing is what? Docker must be installed on your operating system and Docker Compose should also be installed on your operating system. So without these, you can't install redis using docker or docker compose so these are the two things that is needed if you go to my website that is self in so here you will see that i have already created a, a post on how to install docker on ubuntu 22.x if you go to my docker for beginner series then there you will find a video on how to install docker on windows mac or linux so you can follow this video and install docker on any operating system you can go to my another blog post that is installed Redis using Docker Compose and this is the set of instruction that we'll be following for our installation. You need to create the Docker Compose file and inside the Docker Compose file you need to put below contents. So you must be familiar with the Docker Compose file. So these are the two services that we are creating. First is Redis and second is the Redis Insight. So Redis is the actual server and Redis Insight is the graphical user interface which can be used to view the data inside Redis what is happening with the Redis instance. So if you see here we have used the image version as 6.0.7. The container name will be Redis. We'll always restart it. There's a volume. Volume is there to basically store the data. So what we are saying that the data inside the Redis container that will be created will be mapped to the Redis volume data on your host machine so that even if you restart the Redis server or you kill the container, you create new container, then your data will be safe that it it will not be lost. So it is like persistent of your data. The port that will be exposed is 6379 and here also inside the Docker container, it will be 6379. So if you understand this port part, there is a host operating system and there is this Docker. So you create the Redis container inside it, but this will not be accessible outside of this Docker environment because it is isolated from the host environment. So we need to do something called as port forwarding and basically using this port forwarding, if someone calls this 6379 port on the host operating system, then the data will be relayed back to the 6379 port on the Docker container. So you can change this Docker port. I have already created a video on Docker port on my Docker for beginners. You can follow that also for better understanding. So what we are doing in our YAML configuration is the 6379 port is on the host and 6379 port on the right hand side is inside the Redis container. The Redis Insight is another image from which we'll be creating a container and it will be exposed on the port 8001. Let's copy this YAML configuration of our Docker Compose. So I'll copy it and let's paste it here in my ID which I'm using. I'm inside this folder, YouTube Playground. I will create a new YAML file. I'll right click here, go to new and just say file and I'll say Redis Docker Compose and that extension will be YAML. So I'll just paste it here and you see that this ID identifies the YAML configuration and it basically beautifies it. Let's go to our terminal and if I do a ls here then Redis Docker Compose is already present here. Let's see if the prerequisites are fulfilled or not. So I hit Docker and you can see that Docker is installed. If I hit Docker Compose then you can see that Docker Compose is also installed. So whenever you want to run the Docker Compose file so what you need to do you need to do Docker Compose hyphen f and then the docker compose file name here it is redis docker compose.yml and you need to do up up means to start the services so if i hit enter what it is going to do it is going to create the container so if the images are not present on your local machine first it will download the images and then basically it will create the containers out of it i'll open a new terminal here or i can just split this terminal and I, I'll say docker ps. So you can see the, uh, these are the two containers that are actively running on my system. So let's go to our Chrome browser and there we'll check that what is this Redis inside and can we connect to this Redis server or not. 
in the chrome browser let's see the redis insight container so i'll say localhost and the port we know is 8001 which we saw in the configuration now i already have a database i don't have a ready Redis database. So since we have already created the container, so I'll say I, have, I am already having the database. And then what we need to do, we need to use this connect to Redis data, uh, Redis database using host name and port. So the host name will be what? It will be localhost. So I'll say localhost port is 6379. So I'll write 6379. The name will be, I can say Redis local. And then the username and password since we are not doing any authentication so i'll just say add redis database so it is saying could not connect error 99 let's see our configuration okay so the name of this container is redis and inside the uh, this redis insight is also deployed within the same ecosystem so let's try to refer this container using this host name like redis so uh, let's go to the chrome browser here let's go to this one let's see if it works or not so if i do redis and then if i do add this uh, add redis database so it is working so this is my redis local and if you can see here then we will see that okay 846 kb is the total memory there is one connected client i can also use the cli so it is saying pinging redis server as 6379 i'll say key star so you can see it is empty list so let me set something set name equal to code with raj ranjan that is my name and if i do get name so it will give me code with raj ranjan so you can see here this is the redis inside you don't need to connect using that cli tool or redis cli tool you just need to install this redis inside using the docker compose so this is the configuration so this is how we can install redis using uh, the docker compose file so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please share these videos with other people and please subscribe to my channel thank you